Health is Wealth is a series of roundtable discussions designed to break barriers, dispel myths, and build relationships within the community. The Louisiana Organ Procurement Agency, or also known as LOPA, is trying to educate the community on organ donation. In Louisiana, there are currently 2,000 individuals on the waiting list for an organ. Shiny Williams, community educator and multi-ethnic specialist, along with Bonita Brown, mother of an organ donor, are both here to talk to us about the ongoing need um, and how critical it is that people are informed of organ donation. Well, thank you ladies both for being here today. Let's go ahead and talk about the individuals that are on the waiting list. 2,000 people, that's kind of a lot, but you were telling me some stats to go along with that number. Yes, so there's 2,000 people in Louisiana mm -hmm. that are waiting on the, for organ. Um, of those 2,000, over 1,000 people are waiting in our state are waiting for kidneys. Okay. And most people are waiting for kidneys due to uncontrolled high blood pressure, diabetes, lifestyle, and just medication management and things like that. Um, of those uh, th over 1,000 that are waiting for kidneys, most, over 68% are of our African American population. Okay. Um, so it's just highly, I mean, there's such a need for organ donation to happen. So this is your third year doing this specific event that is coming up. LOPA is partnering with SPAR for the Health is Wealth panel. Tell us what that is all about. Yeah, so Health is Wealth was inspired as um, how can we meet our community where we are, where they yeah, are? Yeah. Um, there's so much distrust. There's so much question marks, especially post COVID. Mm -hmm. um, people were just anxious about what's going on in the hospitals. Right. Um, so we wanted to, we created this initiative to help bridge that gap to meet our community where they are about, about organ donation. How do we help? We help, we say we make help life happen all the time. That's right. We make help, we make life happen through various ways, through um, not just, oh, we want, we want you to register to be a donor, but also, hey, did you know that if you take care of your kidneys, then you won't have to be on the transplant list. And how can you, how can we help bridge that gap? I, I feel like this event is all about educating. Um, it's a before, during, and after stage, right? Yes. Like you let people know because a lot of people just don't know what the process is. Right. right. And you wouldn't know that unless you actually received an organ or you're donating. Right. And that is nine times out of time. Nine times out of 10, most people meet us mm -hmm. when it's the most traumatic experience of their right. life. And so this event right here is giving people the information and knowledge ahead of time, right? Because right. you never know when that time may arise. Mm -hmm. Medical emergency, we just never know. You just never know. Okay. And nobody knows better about the process of donating than Bonita Brown. Um, you are here today to talk to us. Your son actually donated his organs. Yes, so tell us about that. In 2011, my son had an accident and he passed away at LSU. Well, the doctors came and they talked to me because it was a tragic brain. Mm -hmm. Ashley and Lopa approached me about the organ donation and it was just automatic. I, I didn't have to think about it. Mm -hmm. I went home and prayed about it. And when I went back, I told them, it's, wow. it's a go. So, what made you want to do that, Bonita? It was something. Because losing your child is hard enough as it is, but what made you want to see life in other people through your son? It was hard losing my child, but knowing that he could possibly save the lives of others and that by doing that, he would be living on made me so happy. So, I didn't have a problem with it saying yes to donation. How does it feel knowing your child lives on in somebody else? How does that it's feel? It's the best feeling in the world. I get to look at people and that he donated organs to, mm -hmm. and it's like his presence is there with me. Oh my goodness, I love that. Um, what do you remember most about your son? His smile. His smile. Everybody remembers his smile. And what was his name again? Ricardo Brown. Ricardo Brown. They called him Buck. Buck, I love it, I love it. And how many individuals was he able to help? Five. Five individuals. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being here, Bonita. Thank you for telling your story yes, about your son. I really do appreciate you being here. I'm sure that's very hard, um, but I love knowing that your son lives on through other into five other ind individuals at this time. Um, let's go ahead and talk shiny real quick. Let's wrap up. Go ahead and tell people about this event that's happening. Yes. Yeah, so next Wednesday is our third uh, series of our Help is Wealth. It's titled Honoring Your Legacy. We'll be at Valencia Community Center at 10 a.m. to 11. 
a.m. We'll have um, Ms. Bonita will be on the panel. We have a representative from Heaven Gates Funeral Home. Mr. Mike Patterson also is a kidney recipient. And then we have another one of my coworkers, who Margie Howard, she is a donation service coordinator. And we'll be discussing um, legacy and how that impacts not just donation, how we can help build our legacy for our family through preparation. Wonderful. And one again, real quick, your time on that. What is the time that people need to be showing up? Um, we will begin at 10, 10 o'clock in the 10 morning. 10 in the morning, and it's about 10 to 11, right? About a one-hour ordeal. Okay, mm -hmm. well, thank you so much, Shani, for being here today. Is there a cost with that registration? It is free. You free. just RSVP at www.lofa.org slash forward slash healthy, and that's just for a light rest refreshment headcount. Wonderful. Shani, Bonita, thank you both being here, for being here today for talking to us about LOPA, what you guys do, what your son has been able to do. I really appreciate you both uh, taking time out of your days and talking with me today. Thanks for having me. Thank you for having me. And again, this roundtable discussion is happening on Wednesday, the 21st, from 10 to 11 a.m. at Valencia Recreation Center in Shreveport. There you can learn all about organ donation and the process.